how was your relationship with him? Um, I would say we were we were a dream team. So we um, we were colleagues and friends, and um, we, we we developed um, world weather attribution together, and so we we worked we worked a lot um, and and very closely together, and we were we had both the same passion. We wanted to do science that answers questions that people actually have. Mm -hmm. And um, but we had very different skill sets, so we were we were quite complementary in in that. So, Khet Yan was um, he was um, an extremely fantastic statistician. So he was very very good with with the numbers, with the statistical methods. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm good with words. I'm good at um, translating scientific findings into 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 words and and messages that yeah that are understandable and so we um we worked very well together on on this and um we we also both were uh, we're really we found it find it both extremely important to yeah to to also reach out to the people who um, who are uh, who are affected by so that by by the events so that we that we do speak to all the journalists that want to speak to us and want to understand what, what we are doing, but also um, that we can't um, we can't do an attribution study about an extreme event without involving people who have experienced this extreme event. So every, every time when we did the study, um, so when we did a study on the extreme heat wave in, in, in Canada this summer, we were working with people in the Met offices in Canada. So at the moment we are working on the drought in Madagascar. And so we're working with people from the Met office in Madagascar because, oh, we don't know everything <laughs> we we are not experts on the weather everywhere um but the people who who work in in these parts of the world they are the experts they know best how what aspects of the weather are actually the most relevant and i think that um yeah so trying to make our science our our way of working as inclusive as possible was also really important for both of us what 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 would you missed about him? It's been a week since he passed on. Oh, what do I uh, what do I not miss? Um, so I think what I would probably most miss is um, just the fun he brought to the work. So um, he for he. Ha for him, work was just what he loved doing, and so it was always great fun. And he would make jokes, and um, he would just uh, send a quick text when he when he found something somewhat related. And um, but I would also really, really miss having someone I can absolutely trust uh, in in um, where I can ask. What do you think about this? Should we do this? Should we not do this? Do you think these results look right? What's do you think we should talk to whoever? All these questions that constantly come up with Khed Yan, I had someone I could absolutely trust to tell me what he thinks, what he honestly thinks, because he was very honest. He would never mince words. He would, if he thinks that's a stupid idea, he would say that's a stupid idea. And um, so that was, and, and especially in a scientific field where it's a small field and there are a few jobs and, uh, and so there is quite a lot of competition and there are not that many people you can truly trust. So that's something that was really, that I would very much miss. And of course his formidable cleverness. I, do you know if he had some plans for the climate world that he couldn't achieve? 
So, yes. Um, so one thing that we were always not so happy with with our studies in world weather attribution was that while we always work with people from the Red Cross and people who, um, and, and we always have information about vulnerability and exposure in our studies, they never really made it into the newspapers. So our, our studies, when they were reported in the media, were quite often just numbers and just the, the hazard, just the, the climate point of view, but not not enough about the vulnerability. And I think that was something that worried him and that he felt we should need to do better. So that is something that we have to do better. And also, um, although it's often more difficult because it's more difficult to get data and so on, he strongly felt that we were doing too many studies in the global north and not enough in the global south. So I think that's also something that he really that that balance he wanted to get. Of course, they are they are no replacement from him because he has just a huge amount of expertise and 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 everything he learned over the years and um, that no one has. And also his his character is was was quite unique, but. Many people have known him, and he has worked with many people around the world. And his his integrity and his values, he actually taught to a lot of people. So, I think there is a lot of Khetyan still out there, in many different people, not in one person. So there will never be the one person that will replace him. But I think his legacy is is important and is something that um, that that will live and continue to grow 